Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. And today I want to talk to you about the coming eclipse. I realize this is a little bit hard to read. Um, it's autumn. It's officially autumn and I'm doing this sort of late in the day and I'm losing the light. And when I put on my other lights, it, it just doesn't... it it overshadows this. I'm getting the opposite eclipse effect. Anyways, I want to talk to you about the coming eclipse and what it means for twin flames. Now a lot of the people I've been talking to are not only twin flames, they are also divine counterparts. They're people that they know they're here to be with their one true love. They're also here to receive the blueprint for new relationship for 5D union and people are coming into this knowingness they're having all kinds of things going on there's they're having kundalini rushes a couple of things to know about this is those people that have prepared and they are in the new we're in these new energies you're feeling the kundalini or sort of rushing up through your legs particularly the left leg it's important to distribute it it can feel very localized in your sacred sexual area. And it can be very confusing. There's a lot of people going around that they're feeling this sexual energy all the time. Another important thing to know is that with your true beloved, the tension is leaving. We are getting to the point where there should be no more drama. Drama does not equal passion. Passion is passion. Passion is primal. But drama does not equal passion. Sexual tension is not, uh, sexual tension as it once was is leaving us. So these tensions between the two counterparts are leaving. You know, just like you, you know, snap something together or hold it together. Or some of you, you're like, ooh, it's on. No, that is actually not how it is. Uh, gradually many of you are getting to this point so what we are coming into the time of now is we are finishing and yeah a lot of you feel like you've been running a marathon and you've been wondering where you're gonna find the strength because you are beyond tired a lot of you are sick and tired of being sick and tired and so you are what are you finishing you're finishing with your cellmates I mean excuse me your soulmates. You're finishing with your soulmates. You're finishing with the uh, people that are in and around you, be it boyfriends, girlfriends, lovers, spouses. A lot of you know it and you haven't really known what to do about it. And maybe the timing hasn't been there for you. You're going to start feeling that uh, not only is the timing there, but it is finishing and concluding and the energies are going to be here to support you. You're also finishing your agreements, all of your agreements. There's no more there's no more karma. A lot of people knew that it was time to end karma back in 2010. We're coming up here towards the end of 2014. What we had planned to do in 2012, it's going to start happening now this year, go into 2015 and 2016. 2016 will see a lot of births, a lot of births of a lot of things. Now, what this eclipse is about is breaking down and breaking through. It's also that there are no more gray areas. A lot of you have sufficiently seen the nuances. No more 50 shades of gray. We are breaking through and we're able to see the motivations of perhaps staying in an abusive relationship for the sake of financial security or a roof or, you know, this or that is too hard. And understanding that maybe you've been almost playing into that abuse by coping skills, things that you have learned how to cope how to live a life and not really walk on eggshells but not really have it be so bad or completely violent.
This eclipse is also happening in this in Venus. Uh, it's conjunct Venus, which means that that's that's the love. That's the love. The entire overlighting is going to be on being with your true love, loving yourself, loving yourself enough to leave situations. And if that means your twin, it love means loving yourself to say no to your twin. No, you can't talk that way to me, even if it's through your heart. And for some of you, having a physical confrontation with that person is not the way to go. You are literally concluding some of the old agreements, the old ways of relating, your agreements with the other soulmates around you. Also the organizations, and this will be religion, this will be government, this will be sometimes charities or charitable work. Um, because you're getting ready to do things in an even bigger, sweeter, more powerful way. So the days are going to conclude for you where not only does it not feel fulfilling, but you feel that your actual impact is dissipated. Be Why? Because it's time to move it to another level. There, the next things that are going to come up for many twin flames is putting everything back in its proper place. So this time is, yes, for giving things back to their rightful owners, really finishing it, putting everything in its proper place, and mostly from an energetic level, putting everything in its proper place. And that can mean the person with you. It can mean... Um, you know, delegating, like if you're involved with an organization or you're in something, you know, knowing, if you know you're here for to be with your twin, maybe it means delegating some of this to the next person, giving up certain uh, positions, maybe not donating so that other people can, because you're here to actually distribute. Now, uh, the thing to know about putting everything in its proper place is your body's going to continue adjusting. And if you keep interacting with uh, people, particularly if you're having sexual relations with someone other than your twin flame, you're going to feel a body conflict. You're going to feel uh, resistance within. You're going to feel friction. Or if you're clearing out old sexual energies, you're going to feel it. You're also going to feel things incoming. You're going to feel temperature fluctuations. Um, you're going to feel as though you're being made to stay still. And there is not really anybody here who will escape this. The pressure is on. You're in the pressure cooker. We are going through an ascension. Now, for illumined Blu-ray twin flames, what this means is that your time to resurrect yourself as you once truly were, you're coming into that now. And so the key here is moderation and to pace yourself. So pacing yourself does mean taking frequent breaks, take breaks throughout your day, um, be moderate in all things in as much as you're able to. And that means everything. That means temperance. So a lot of people having gone through this are finding that they are being tempered. Your higher self is tempering you. You are being moderate. You're feeling when enough is enough of anything. Whether it's staying at a party or accepting an invitation or eating a food or participation or it could be flirtations, you're feeling enough is enough. And the eclipse itself will overshadow everything. So this is all going to take on a momentum. Everything's just going to pick up an acceleration here. And you may have times where you feel as though you're standing at the top of the hill saying, hello, hello, and you're wondering where is it because you've sped so far ahead. It's all going to catch up to you because this standing still, you've either accelerated or you're about to be accelerated even further. And other people are going to find that they are being accelerated through things and there are people all the time that are awakening some of you are having different experiences than the others and I would say that there's uh, 
seems to be about three different groups of people besides the three waves that we're talking about. Uh, there's people that are here to receive the new template and they're pretty much just holding steady. There are other people who are receiving the brand new template and they're also bringing something to the table uh, that's useful for it. And there's other people that are here who are the ones, the Blue Ray Illumin Twin Flames in particular, those people who lived in Lemuria and Atlantis, and our plan got derailed way back, like way back. Our original plan to assist with the expansion and the furtherment and the evolve evolution of the new grid of life, it was derailed, and it turned into a rescue operation. Well, we're here now, and everyone is going to be brought up to speed. If you've prepared yourself, and I am very happy to say that at some point when I realized, and this was going back about eight years, and I was raised Roman Catholic, that everything that they had said to me that was here now for my lifetime, I cried out of gratitude and relief because all I could think was, all I could feel was this is my resurrection it's finally here it's finally here it's finally here now here I am about eight years later it's still finally here um, because there was some major damage and that is what a lot of you are being healed from the people I talk to for the most part um, and this is for everyone. Everyone is welcome to see this. But for the most part, the people that I'm really trying to uh, emphasize are those people with the greatest soul damage. Because what do I say to you? You are not crazy. We're not crazy. This is a very real, physical, physically feeling and metaphysical ascension and resurrection. And there are people that it literally will feel like life and death for them, where they are coming up with, you know, I either kill myself and get out of here, or I continue plodding along and doing this. And I applaud you for plodding along. I also know that if you do kill yourself, that that is a soul level decision, and yet you will re still receive your healing. Now, that is not me encouraging people to kill themselves. I am saying to you plainly, please hang in here with us because you're not crazy. Um, this is not something that you're delusional about. These are your very real experiences, but other people don't have these experiences. As a human being, people do have common experiences. When you begin experiencing yourself again as an angelic, the commonalities get fewer and far between, and yet there are things in common with each other. And as long as you're focusing on the love, of being the love that you are, of being in love again and living as you once did, that is the key. So you, you have your fixed point, which is your true beloved. It's the love, it's your true beloved. You have your fixed point, and you might have to go like this and go like this, but you will arrive. You will arrive. So as long as you maintain that focus. And there's a thing to know here that if your beloved seems to be being contrary, pushing you away. I'm going to talk down the line a little bit about self-sabotage on love. There are people that will sabotage themselves and talk themselves out of the love. Sometimes the counterpart will do that. I don't deserve it, I'm not worthy, I'm really not a nice person, you really wouldn't want to live with me, I'm, yeah, I'm fun in bed, but I, I'm not, oh yeah, I'm no good for relationships. I, and they'll tell you all kinds of crap. You know what? That's self-sabotage. Don't buy it for a minute. If that is your twin flame and you know it to the core essence of your being, you know it. You know that you know that you know you know, so despite what their mouth is busy doing, you got to tune into your heart and be like, okay, let's filter through the crud, help me see through this. What are they really saying? Because what they're really saying is, I'm afraid I'm going to be hurt again. I'm afraid that we'll be separated and it'll hurt. It'll hurt. 
to the core of our being. I can't go through that soul pain again. What they're really saying is, I'm afraid that I'll be taken away from you forcibly. No, you must continually reassure your beloved that send the reassurance from your heart that it is for this lifetime. This is our new. This is our new. This is our do-over. This is our brand new that we've already planned it to be. Let go of those old fears and notions. And you literally ask for the help to take it out. And you kiss them and you hold them. And I'll go even further to say this. My own true beloved, it was revealed to me because I get woken up every single night, usually three times a night. And I've learned to roll with this because I pace myself during the day and then at night when I get woken up, I've learned to be fully alert and aware. And it, it has taken practice to maintain my consciousness in the high energies. But there was one night in particular where I was um, healing my twin through my own body. And it was revealed as my twin came close, burned beyond recognition, burnt, just burnt beyond recognition except the soul part was uh, over my twin and I could still see their beauty I could see their beauty coming towards me nervous afraid afraid of being rejected or felt ugly and while this was somewhat in the etheric I reached out my hands and as I pulled in all of the damage melted away. All of it. And this is how we're able to heal each other. This is the difference between a soulmate and a twin flame. Your twin is in you. Your twin does not put their hands on your hips. Your twin puts their hands in your hips. And it's a completely different experience. There was another one I had where my twin... This, this was, it's still comical to me because the absurdity of some of this, that, that there can be so much love that we would not, we would be so afraid of this person and yet there's so much love. It, I had one of those visions where my twin killed me at point blank range with a shotgun. And as I was reliving this, uh, knowing I died, knowing I had died, and I was actually reliving the death. And let me say, I have lived, I have relived a thousand deaths doing this. And, and it feels like some of it's rewriting history. It's been archived. My twin killing me at point blank range and looking me straight in the eye to do it. And we dissipated that. We transmuted it and incinerated it on the spot. And only twin flames can do this. And it made me laugh because I realized we had, in that life, we had absolutely no recognition of each other. We had disconnected and yet there was no severance of that golden cord. Disconnected to the point where we had. Some of you have had lives where yeah, that person was the one that light, lit the flame that burned under you or killed you or hurt you. And I'm telling you right now that for the most part, it's gone. It's been transmuted. Have no fear of each other. Don't have any fear of picking up the phone and using your voice. Your voice carries the vibration of your soul. And so being forthright and trusting in the love, the love that has you to this point. Because everything in the universe got you to this point. This is your plan. You're here now listening to this information that's coming through my higher self and my heart to you is, is amazing. That's a miracle in itself. How did some of you not kill yourself by now? How am I sitting here talking to you? That in itself is a miracle. We're poised to do this. And so, yeah, it's going to be an emphasis on love, on really looking at your situations and aligning yourself to where and who loves you. And your twin does have that eternal love. It doesn't matter what their words are saying or their actions are saying because in many cases, these are old defense mechanisms and survival skills they've had to have.
Had to. 3D means survival. 5D means thriving. So we're going to talk some more down the line. I hope you hang in here. You're not crazy. We're here to do this. It's still happening. There's about at least a million people worldwide poised, ready to, ready to fire up the grid. So thank you so much for listening. Goodbye now.